day 23, you keep showing up and that's what we're talking about today. Let's get into our simple forward fold, building consistency, discipline, flexibility. Let's go. You've shown up today. What does showing up look like? It's not always perfect. It's not always a 10 out of 10. That is for sure. Sometimes it's a two, sometimes it's a one, sometimes it's a five. It's the consistency of showing up that builds the habit, the momentum that keeps us moving forward. By showing up every day, even for five minutes, even for a simple 10 minute forward fold stretch, it's that showing up, that accountability to ourselves that helps us cultivate the habits and to become the person we truly want to be. No excuses, I just show up. And sometimes it is ugly. <laughs> Most of us don't let other people down. If we say we're gonna do something, we do it, we show up. But how often do we not show up for ourselves? We say we're gonna do something, ah, uh, it's just for me, I'll put it off till tomorrow. I'll do it next week. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. Next week's certainly not guaranteed. Showing up in the smallest ways, little by little for ourselves to really prove to ourselves that I keep my promises to everyone, including myself. And that's usually the person we let down the most. That's what I like about this simple idea and showing up. Because really we're just telling ourselves, I'm the kind of person who keeps my promises to myself. That can be so stress relieving and liberating. Because when there's something you have to do, it alleviates all the stress and anxiety because either you do it right away because you can, or some things can't be done in the moment. They have to be done, oh, I, I'll have to do that in a day or next week. And there's no stress because you know I'm the kind of person who takes care of my business. I show up for myself. I'll get it done, no problem. And that can be built with a simple five-minute stretch, a five-minute workout, a five-minute journaling session every day, whatever that thing that you're working on, to just keep showing up no matter what, to build that muscle, that callus, that I show up for myself every single day. And you tell yourself, I'm just the kind of person who stretches every day. I'm the kind of person who works out every day. I eat healthy foods every day. Does it have to be perfect every day? Clearly not. And we should embrace the <clears throat> days that are a 10 out of 10, the sunny days of our lives, brilliant. But it's the twos. It's the rainy, stormy days that really matter. When you show up on those days, that's where the self-confidence, the self-esteem, the recognition and knowledge that I show up really starts to build a foundation I can think when I was running a lot every day and I got out and I just couldn't run. I couldn't run. I don't know why I remember this so well. I just couldn't get started. So I just walked for a while. And I didn't beat myself up. I just, I was still there. I was still out. And little as I walked, little by little, I started to pick up a little bit more pace and I ran just a little bit. It's all I could do that day, but I can still remember all these years later that that just by showing up, that just sticking with it just a little bit and accomplishing something felt so good. It wasn't a great run by any stretch of imagination, but somehow it was the best, if that makes any sense. Just because I kept showing up and I just stuck with it. And it is those two, two out of 10 days you're gonna look back at and go, yes, that's where I really grew, where I really learned. And the twos, they'll pass, just like the 10. 
I don't love that saying, this too shall pass. Somehow, it's very true. Somehow it seems woo-woo and new age, but there really is something to it that no matter how great something is, no matter how bad something is, it will pass. Sometimes we just got to suck it up, embrace the suck. Like, maybe you're feeling right now a little tight. Oh, I am. I don't know how much deeper I'm getting into my stretch, but I know showing up to film, to do this, create this, has become much easier just by the consistency of showing up. And I think that works in every single aspect of our lives. Just keep showing up. It's not often very glamorous. You're usually alone. Nobody sees what you're doing if you're trying to cultivate a new habit. Change something positive in your life. It's very lonely. And often those around us don't necessarily cheer us on for our success. It just unfortunately makes them have to look at themselves and it's much more comfortable when everybody stays the same. So often you have to do these things on our own. There's no fanfare. There's nobody cheering us. But I think the biggest idea that I'm trying to get across in my own life is that I can be whole and complete within myself without anything outside of me making me feel happy, making me feel important. It's great to have those things. It's great to have people cheer for us. It's wonderful, but we don't need it. And I can be so good within myself that anything on the outside doesn't affect me. It's a pretty high place to live. Little by little, by showing up every day, by listening to great teachers, by pushing ourselves a little bit beyond our boundaries, we can get there. I believe it. Let me finish our stretch. Let me know some way that you keep showing up. What that looks like. Or the more we can share, the more it helps others. A time when I found it difficult to show up, but you did anyway. Take a last moment here to really focus on our breathing. Get deeper. <sighs> Contemplate. You can show up in another aspect of your life. If you're showing up here, how can we continue to grow? Move forward. Coming up. <laughs> Just keep showing up for yourself. The smallest habits can have a huge change over the long run. Keep showing up. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>